Like this way or straight? <laughs> Sorry, one more, one more. <laughs> Action. So from CV to final interview, normally the process should just take one month. Sometimes it should be super quickly. For instance, for someone in her team, it took just two or three days. Uh, but usually when you send your application, at least you need to wait 10 days or two weeks to have a contact with the recruiter. And after it depends of the recruiter, but the recruiter can share your resume super quickly to the hiring manager. But usually I think we can uh, one month, I think is a good answer from the day when you send your application on the website with the offer. Candidates may think the longer, the better, the more detailed, the better. But actually, comparing to a CV of five pages or 10 pages, we appreciate more that if you can summarize your key information on a CV of one page in a very structured way. Especially for students, we really recommend you to restructure all the information to education and professional experience and really do some a little bit personalization according to the role you apply to. And don't forget to modify a bit the information if you apply for several roles. For example, if you apply for a marketing role, don't put on your CV like you are looking for an internship in communication. The biggest mistake I see on CVs is in the bullet points. So it's super important not to have too much information or too little information in your bullet points for each experience. For example, instead of just putting your tasks, you should put your situation the action that you actually took, the role that you had, and concrete KPIs behind what you put in place for each of your experiences. All of this in three to five bullet points, uh, no more, no less. If you have no previous professional experience, there's still plenty of things that you can highlight about school projects, about things that you do for associations, uh, volunteer work, and even the way that you spend time online learning new skills, for example, online courses that you might have taken. So there's plenty of things outside of professional internships or previous jobs that you can highlight on your CV. You can always think about your student association experience or some volunteer experience or some projects that you did with your university, with your school that can showcase your potential and your motivation for the application. What is important and this is my opinion only, to have passion towards that. I believe you will succeed much better if you have passion towards what you do. You don't need to have experience in beauty to apply, but you do need to be curious and be interested in learning more about the industry. We are looking for some candidates who are just super different. We are not looking for a stereotype. We are looking for some candidates who should have an experience in uh, cosmetics, beauty, luxury, but it's all op also open uh, to all candidates. I think it's more about the mindset, about the fit with the values of the group and not uh, with the fit only for the product or the, uh, the sector. I think uh, this is a mistake that you know we all do sometimes is we need to remember that every interview is a dialogue it's never a monologue candidates come to see us and to make their choice also and for us it is important that the choice is right for both sides that it's a mutual match. To have someone who will speak all the time about the brand or about L'Oréal, about the products, but definitely don't forget, if you apply for a position at L'Oréal, it's because you would like to join the group, but it's also about the task, about the mission, about the internship position or the job, then don't forget it. and. Speak about your skills, speak about your knowledge, speak about uh, what you did, what you would like to do, and not about because you have a passion for the product. So the worst thing that you can do in an HR interview is to not prepare at all and to wing it because it actually shows. Um, it's hard for us to be able to evaluate you if you're thinking really hard about each of your responses because you've never thought about it before. You haven't thought about why you're adapted to the position. So Please prepare in advance and everything should go smoothly. You know, I ask myself this question sometimes when I wake up and when I go to work. Use your common sense. 
look, it doesn't have to be something super formal. It doesn't have to be something super informal. So I think, you know, you need to stop in the middle at some point in time. And then maybe it also depends, you know, what is the seniority of the job that you apply for and what is the seniority of the people with whom you meet. But honestly, my biggest recommendation is use your common sense. The important thing is that you feel comfortable in this clothes because we want you to feel comfortable at the interview. We want you to come as you are and to be as you are. Dress code, there is no dress code. The most important thing is just uh, to wear clothes where you, are, where you are comfortable in. So before an interview, I really hope that candidates understand why they want to work for L'Oreal, number one. And number two, what specifically within L'Oreal they see themselves doing in terms of métier and in terms of job. So in the end of the interview, don't hesitate to ask any question if you have anything unclear or you need more clarification during the whole exchange that you have with the recruiter or with the hiring manager. And also the questions in the end is a very good opportunity for you to showcase your motivation and to showcase your curiosity again to the interviewer. For example, you can ask questions related to the job content. What is the expectation of the role? What is a um, key to success and uh, what could you learn if you are hired in the role? I do the recruitment for HR, so I think it's important to have some questions for your recruiter. Now, thanks to LinkedIn, you can uh, see the profile of your recruiter, you can find many information about him or her. And I think for the question or the last question, it's interesting to ask about the HR vision or what's a good uh, HRD and about the, the values of L'Oréal and why it's matching or not for some different people. But uh, you have to, uh, to find definitely an interest in L'Oréal with your question. And, um, and you can also ask back a question that the recruiter uh, should ask to you a uh, few minutes uh, before. So at the end of the interview, of course, you should prepare questions in advance about specifically the post and the culture of the company. So for example, you could ask directly to the person that is interviewing you more specifically about how they feel about the culture of the company and what they see as the key challenges for the specific position. It's best to focus on questions that are not things that you can just find online easily by yourself and instead focus more on questions that are adapted to the specific job. So you may think entering L'Oreal, you need to wear high heels, lipsticks, makeup every day. Oh, but actually it's not true. So the most important mindset here at L'Oreal is on the one hand, you need to have a very strategic thinking. You are able to step out of your operational work, think big, think ahead to have the vision of the future. And on the other hand, you need to be also perform well performed in your operational work, be very efficient and to take initiatives in your daily work. We need people who dare we need people who are, you know, the opposite of experts. We don't like experts because experts are the worst people to discover the new knowledge because when there is a new knowledge, you are no longer an expert. We are looking for people who are very curious. The important thing in L'Oreal, because we are pretty diverse in our HQ, in our countries, we need you to have a very open mindset and very collaborative mindset because we believe that the best things go through collaboration. We are looking for people who are passionate towards what they do, and that's not necessarily, you know, always a brand or the category or the market. You know, it can be passion to your job, it can be passion towards certain skills, uh, etc. I think we are quite a fast company. We have a certain pace of work, and we are looking for people who will be enjoying it. The best prepare for the business interview, you should. Of course, read the job description beforehand and do a bit of research as to how your skills and your background apply to the position that you're applying for. So the difference between the HR interview and the business interview is that you should have a more exploratory conversation with HR and a more specific conversation about the job position for business with the manager. 
for the HR interview. The objective is to check if your personality or competency could be a fit for the company. So it's better to prepare some behavior questions and to be able to bring some concrete example uh, during your previous working experience or previous like educational experience. And for the business manager interviews, it's more to check your technical skills as well. So it's very important to uh, share some experience more relevant to the role and also some specialization if you apply for example finance role uh, you also need to prepare your knowledge on balance sheet or on excel because sometimes the manager could make an instant check in business case for you if you don't know the answer to a question don't panic it's better to just be honest and to say that you don't know and that you would like to find the answer rather than to make something up be yourself. Don't hesitate to ask many questions about what I think about L'Oréal, the values, how I fit or not, about the different things like this. An interview is like a discussion. It's not only question, answer, question, answer. Don't forget that we are just two humans. So we have to talk together because uh, I have to convince you for the job, but you have to convince me also for the job. So it's a discussion. It's an amazing opportunity because you can join a group with values like the gender balance or like ethics or diversity inclusion. You have a job desk, you will have a job or an internship or an apprentice, but uh, you can also discover many things. You can discover many people, different people, uh, have a fit, a lunch or a coffee with the people who work in your team, but also the, in the different teams. 